In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 best street food around the whole world. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Number 10, Bang Mi. We're in Ho Chi Minh City to eat it. Although the phrase Bang Mi refers to any kind of bread in Vietnamese, it has evolved to mean a delicious sandwich that is most closely resembled by a Vietnamese hoji. Originating from French colonization in Southeast Asia, the banh mi skillfully blends ingredients from the West and the East. A typical banh mi comprises of a baguette filled with meat, such cold cuts, grilled pork or meatballs, cucumber slices, cilantro sprigs, pickled carrots and daikon, liver pate, and mayonnaise. The contents may vary depending on the dish. The greatest spot to eat one is still on the streets of Satan, even if they're becoming more and more common and accessible in the West, albeit in considerably less genuine versions. Number 9. Durham. Eat it here, Istanbul. Durham, which means roll, is a type of wrap formed from flatbreads, similar to Turkish yufka or Armenian lavish. Ingredients for a traditional dunner kebab may be found within the wrap. Spiced meat grilled on a vertical spit, generally lamb, but occasionally it can also be chicken or a beef veal mix. It is then cut off and served with cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, and lettuce on top, as well as spicy sauce and yogurt flavored with herbs. Although doner, also referred to as shawarma, is possibly Germany's most popular street food, the Turkish version is the best because the wrapped wrap is grilled to maximize crispiness. If you've ever spent a late night out in a European city, you've probably had one of these to sop up some beer. Number 8. Supli Rome is the place to eat. These fried rice balls, which are smaller versions of Sicilian arancini, get their name from the word surprise, spoken in French of course, which refers to the leaking chunk of cheese that's within. The components of this dish have remained almost same for the past century, save for the addition of chicken gizzards. They are still rice, ragu prepared with ground beef and tomatoes, and mozzarella. Street sellers used to sell supply, but these days you can get the addicting croquettes at any grocery store or Roman pizzeria. Although the classic recipe is still widely used, Romans have recently developed a taste for creative variations that include an unusually broad variety of ingredients. Number 7. Rujamo Location of Eating Cien Ruja Mo, which dates back at least 2,000 years, is one of the oldest sandwiches in the world and is essentially a Chinese version of doner kebab. The classic recipe calls for stewing pig for many hours in a strong flavored broth, imagine plenty of cumin, after which the minced pork is packed into a flatbread along with mild peppers and cilantro. Beef is a typical replacement in Muslim areas, and lamb is also popular in some locations. Though it is currently consumed widely throughout China, Ru Mo originated in Shaanxi province, whose capital is Stan, home of the renowned Terracotta Army. The country's north is where you may locate it the simplest. Therefore, if Xi'an isn't in your schedule, look for it in Beijing. If you ever find yourself in Beijing, you should definitely try Xi'an Bing, which are addictive street cart creeps filled with eggs, cilantro, and crunchy wonton crackers. Number 6. Pork Sate Vedic here, Bangkok. Throughout Southeast Asia, sade is a common dish. Occasionally, beef or chicken is used, although pig is most frequently consumed in Thailand. Coconut milk, turmeric, and other spices are used to marinate thin slices of beef before they are skewered and cooked over charcoal. That's only one portion of the meal, though, since sweet and spicy peanut sauce and tartachat, a pickled cucumber salad, are also typically served with sade. Although sete is an Indonesian dish, it is so famous in Thailand that people outside of Thailand mistakenly believe it to be a Thai delicacy. Number 5. Tacos al Pastor Eat it here, Mexico City. Tacos al Pastor are the product of the blending of two cultures, much like many other delicious street delicacies from throughout the globe. This particular example is the spit-roasting custom that was carried to Mexico by Lebanese immigrants, usually lamb. Pork was adopted locally in place of the meat. It is marinated in a mixture of spices, dried chiles, and pineapple before cooking. 
The soft meat is sliced off the spit like shawarma and served on little tortillas with onions, cilantro, and sometimes a tiny piece of pineapple. Other common toppings are lime juice and fiery salsa. Number four, tajin. We're in Marrakesh to eat it. Tajin, a North African Berber stew, gets its name from the earthenware pot it is cooked in, which is heated over hot coals for hours at a time. Beyond that, tajins can differ greatly from one another, but the fundamental ingredients are usually some sort of meat, beef, lamb, or chicken, vegetables, and an abundance of herbs and spices. Fruit and nuts are also frequently included. These delicious stews, which are usually served with bread or couscous, can be found anywhere in Morocco, from the top restaurants to street vendors. However, a dish this basic is best enjoyed unadorned and in an unpretentious atmosphere. Number 3. Torapan. Where to eat it? Buenos Aires. A common dish on South American streets, banger sandwiches are enjoyed in Bolivia, Venezuela, Brazil, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, Peru, and Peru. An example of simplicity is the Argentine corpan, which consists of a grilled sausage made of pig and beef that is split in half and served on crusty bread with a spicy chimichurri sauce on top. These are served as an appetizer before preparing an asado and are a popular culinary item during sporting events, but you can also get them at street vendors any day of the week. Number 2. Belpuri. Where to eat it? Mumbai. India's street food, referred to as chaat, varies widely from area to area, but most of the nation may get Belpuri. The genuine stuff, however, can only be found in Mumbai and consists of puffed rice, fried noodles resembling vermicelli called sev, veggies, spices, and chutneys. The end effect is a fascinating harmony of flavors that are acidic, spicy, sweet, and salty. Although the meal is frequently connected to Mumbai's beaches, it is available from street vendors all throughout the city. Number 1. Arepas. Where to eat it? Bogota. Arepas are filled flatbreads made from maize or flour that may be grilled, baked, or fried to pillowy perfection. They are typically eaten for breakfast or as an afternoon snack. While arepas are frequently used to construct sandwiches in Venezuela, they are not as popular in Colombia, where they are typically topped with chorizo, condensed milk, butter, cheese, eggs, or hogo, an onion-based sauce. Get an ordinary arepa and a cup of hot chocolate for breakfast as a native would if you want to feel like a real Bogota resident. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.